What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro of Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. And today we have another retro model review for you guys. Today we have the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale American Airlines Boeing 767-300ER with winglets in the chrome livery. This is by far one of my favorite models and I am so glad to have this. I really hope you guys are excited for today's review as this is such a nice model. And like I said, I am super glad to have this one. And I really hope you guys are excited for today's review. So without any further delay, let's get started with the box. So I am going to do a few more of these handheld. I have seen your guys' feedback yet so I'm not sure what you guys are thinking about it. so feel free to let me know if you guys haven't seen this handheld yet what you guys think about the handheld format what you guys think and how you guys like it so be sure to let me know but nevertheless without any further delay let's get started so like I said this is uh, by far one of my favorite models and I'm so glad to be unboxing this for you guys today I'll get this fully out of the way here let's get started with this classic Gemini Jets box you got the Gemini Jets logo made for collectors by collectors here's the CGI of the aircraft nice and simple you'll love to see it you got the old American Airlines billboard along with the old 767 300ER titles that looks awesome here, here's the side of the box, the top of the box, with a really cool sticker right here. I'm not sure where exactly this came from. It looks like Cold Power Hobbies is where this was sold from. $31.98, what a price way back when, very nice. Here is the right side of the box, and also you got the back of the box, or bottom of the box. Here is the back of the box, as you guys can see, this is a 2009 release, so quite an old one right here from Gemini Jets, but you absolutely love to see this, and this is such a nice model. So really excited to get into the details of this model, and with that said, let's bring it in here and take a look, everybody. And boy, here we go. So this is a really nice model from Gemini Jets, like I said right here. This is such a nice one. I'm really excited to get into all the details of this aircraft. Very unique in various ways, and I'm really excited to take a look at this. So I hope you guys are excited for it as well. And without any further delay, let's take a look at this stunning model right here, guys. All righty, here we go. Let me get you guys lined up here and get this turned over a little bit so we have a little bit less reflection and let's get started. Starting right here, we have the cockpit windows and then we have the 767 nose right here. This nose is really nicely done by Gemini Jets for a 2009 release. The mold is really solid and this has been one of uh, Gemini Jets' best 767 molds. So this is definitely applied right here. You also got the nose cowling piece as well, which is really nice. Then you have the nose landing gear, which is really nicely detailed with the nose landing gear door along with the nose landing gear itself. Pretty good detail for 2009. You really can't complain with this and this is just what pure Gemini Jets it's all about right here in their prime. Here you have the L1 boarding door, and then you have the One World logo right here as well. I always still really like those lines on top. I'm not exactly sure what those are, but they look really nice. And I'll even give you guys a little bit more zoom here so you guys can get an even better understanding of what I'm referencing here. Uh, really nice to see that One World logo as well. That was a really nice feature for the time, so that was really nice. All right, so the 767, of course, has a really nice configuration. Here's where your first class is going to be in a little bit of business. Then you'll have your economy with the economy plus section on this aircraft. Here's your American billboard titles. These are really nicely printed, and this is very accurate so I was very pleased with that especially back when I got it. I'll tell a little story here in a little bit about this model once we get to that time. Here's the uh, middle portion of the aircraft. Really interesting to note, no windows right here. This is correct, so no fault on Gemini right there. That's just how American designated their 767s back in uh, that time. And then you have the wing. Uh, this is a two-piece mold, which was relatively unheard of for this time frame. So it's really cool to get to see this right here. And personally, I think they did a very good job on it. Here's your engines right here. I'll take a more in-depth look, but I'm thinking these might be uh, possibly uh, General Electrics or Pride and these. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll take a more in-depth look here in just a minute as I'm gonna implement a new feature into my model reviews, so I'm liking this right here. But the detail is very good. It looks accurate sizing for what I've seen on 767. We'll take a look at some pictures here in a moment. Here are the wings, really nice detail with the slats right here. As you guys can see, Gemini just did a great job casting this, as you guys can see. And here's the right side right here, as you guys can see. And one of the coolest features on the Boeing 767-300ERs, if I can get the focus right here, are those huge winglets. The winglets are literally huge, and you guys will see that on the walk around view. But a great feature with the AA.com. They absolutely nailed that, and by far one of the best features of the American Airlines chrome livery in my opinion very iconic and they look fantastic let's get back to that fuselage though sorry about that let's get back into the fuselages we also have some great details with the main landing gear right here they do roll which was again pretty rare for the time this is really a great mold from 2009 to be quite honest and again here's a nice seamless look at that two-piece mold which turned out super well then you have this uh, I believe this is supposed to be some sort of uh, possibly a Wi-Fi box I'm not exactly sure but you have some sort of uh, icon there along with some additional detail here here's the rest of the fuselage again great job and here's a great look at what the AA.com logo winglet looks like from the inside. Sorry, the phone. It's great at focusing. It just doesn't know what to focus on sometimes, so it's all good. But we're here to rest the fuselage. Again, really nicely cast, very simple, but they did a great job on it. Here's your L2 door along with the registration November 399 Alpha November. Here's the tail as well. The tail turned out super well. I believe the AA is a little far down to the bottom right, but outside of that, it's a very minor nick pick right there. It's really good. You also have your horizontal stabilizer. And sorry, mine's a little bit dusty right there, but it really turned out well and it looks fantastic. I believe you also have an APU back here as well. 
Alrighty, if we turn over to the right side, and don't worry, we'll get some better views here of the full aircraft here in just a minute. The aircraft is pretty similar on the right side. You are gonna find a baggage door right here, and you'll find one right here as well. And here's the tail on the right side of the aircraft. The top of the aircraft is really nicely detailed. You have some good details throughout there. I'll kind of just zoom in and give you guys a nice look at what this is looking like. Again, fantastic job here on this mold. It's quite nice to be honest. I'm very pleased with it for the time frame, and really still up to standard in 2022. Here's what you're looking at with the bottom of the aircraft. Again, super nice detail right here, as you guys can see with the 767-300 titles. Again, that's fantastic right there for the time. The Gemini Jets big logo, one of the coolest features. You also do have a stand hole and rolling landing gear, which they do roll. And quite frankly, the best rolling landing gear I've ever seen. They are uh, fluid, as you guys can probably see on the camera even, which is really cool. Here's the back of the aircraft, really nicely detailed, and it looks fantastic. Alrighty, guys, and here we go with the full aircraft right here. So here's the nose section. Here is the front right, which looks really nice. You guys can just really pick up on the detail from here. It looks fantastic. Here's the uh, left side, excuse me, this is the left side right here. Just looks fantastic. You guys can just see all that detail. I just can't say more about it and perfectly aligned as would be right there. Here is the back left right here. And here is the tail section, as you guys can see, really nicely done, very level wings. You love to see it right there. Here is the back right. And here is the um, right side, looks fantastic. Here is the front right, and last but certainly not least, here is the no such once again. I mean, this model's fantastic, guys. There's really not, not too much more I can say about the actual model itself. Fantastic model, and I'd highly recommend it for any collection. This one is super nice, and it looks absolutely amazing, to say the least, right there. I'm sorry about that. What I was gonna do is I'm gonna integrate a new section into my model reviews, and that is gonna be taking a look at the actual model itself with an actual uh, iPad right here. Sorry about the reflection. There it is, it's a little bit better here. But let's take a look at this. So here's the aircraft itself right here, as you guys can see. I know that there's a little bit of reflection, but it's kind of nice to get the general perspective of what's going on with these models. So this aircraft is now flying for DHL. This was uh, had the first flight on the uh, May 14th, 1999. And I believe this aircraft was delivered on May 28th, so only two weeks later. This aircraft is 23.5 years old, and these are general electric engines. These are the CF-680, uh, C2B6s. Okay, so here's what's happened with the aircraft. It's been pretty simple. This aircraft actually flew up with American until the pandemic from uh, May 28th, 1999, all the way up until April 2020. And then this aircraft got converted into a freighter on October 14th of 2021. It is now flying with DHL Airlines, which is very exciting. This aircraft got a second life. Here's what some of the pictures look like. Credit to all the respective photographers. Here's the configuration we saw it in, but it also was in the new colors as well. And it looks fantastic too. I also forgot to show you guys the pamphlet of the box, which is gonna have some very useful information. So let's take a look at that. Uh, really cool in here, as you guys can see, it looks fantastic. Here's some of the useful information. So as you guys can see, uh, construction number was 29606. Line number was ironically 752. Uh, again, registration 399 Alpha Alpha. There's your CFM engines once again. Uh, there's your delivery date. Empty weight's 179,000 pounds. Cruising speed's 530 miles per hour. Range is 6,500 miles, which is pretty impressive. And this aircraft uh, mixed configuration 250. I think American sat like 270 or so on these. I think that might tell me on here. Um, looks like, not seeing anything on it, unfortunately. Maybe because it's cargo now, but these have sat quite a few. So like I said, this is a fantastic model. Uh, the story that I want to tell behind this one, because it's kind of funny, is I actually spent a ton of money for this aircraft. So I was really eyeing a 767 back in the day, 2013 particularly. If you guys don't know, American Airlines 767s in the chrome livery were very, very hard to come by at that time. There was the 762, which was really rare, both the 763 without winglets, the 2001, 2008, and then this one. Now this one was super hard to find because Jim and I would not re-release it and they still have it to this day. I ended up paying 117 US dollars for this aircraft, which is quite a hefty price. Definitely the most that I spent back then, but I really, really wanted one. And it was just so cool to get to see it on model airport updates and everything. So that's why I chose to buy it. And I think it was a very good investment for the collection. I've used it several times throughout the years, uh, particularly until American got their new color scheme. But you know, obviously I've used it in retro airports and even for reviews like this. This is one of my favorite models. I would really like to make a top 25 like 
favorite model list one day, uh, but that's gonna take some real time because I have some really good ones as you guys have seen through these reviews lately. And this is definitely one of them. It's just a nice simple mold. And one thing that I just really can't get over with this model is how innovative it was for 2009. A typical 2009 model looked a little something like this. That wasn't really intentional to bring this guy in here. And don't get me wrong, this is fantastic, but you guys can just see the innovation here. And it's just incredible to get to see that right there. You know, obviously you're not gonna have a model like this uh, right here, but you know, this is just fantastic for the time. And it's truly one of the kind to get to see such a nice model right there. For American Airlines, this is truly a great model. Now I'd highly recommend getting it if you can. Uh, like I said, this aircraft is now flying for DHL, so you can still catch this one in real life, which is pretty cool. And again, this is a fantastic aircraft and I'm super glad to have it in my collection. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's review video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the new style. I personally think it works really well. It's nice to get that handheld uh, kind of vibe, if you will, and it's pretty fun to get to do these updates for you guys. So next up, we'll have some uh, additional models, but feel free to comment below and recommend a model to me if you guys would like to, or you can go let me know on the Model Airliner forum. Uh, we've been doing a lot of talking about uh, doing exclusive content on there. So if you guys would like to see like an exclusive like section of the model reviewed or like something particular about it, let me know and I'll be sure to do it. And uh, I'd love to do that for you guys. So really glad to get to review this model for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And with that, that'll do it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Redditor of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe, trust the process. Do what you love, love what you do. My name is Redditor of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon as Redditor of Aviation is signing out.